Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for talking about Greg's Beer Review today. Look at this big bottle. This is from Clown Shoes. This is there for a few Union Dragons more. And this one is brewed with coffee. It says here for a few uh, Union Dragons more, Russian Imperial Stout aged in bourbon barrels with coffee. This big beer too, guys. This is a this is a big boy's beer. 14% alcohol by volume. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was sent to me by Brandon C. down in Texas. Pretty sure this is a Texas only release from those guys at Clown Shoes. Uh, to Brandon, uh, I do appreciate it, sir. Uh, he sent me uh, a handful of Clown Shoes beers that are Texas only releases. Uh, so let's get on with this. This is the final beer of the evening for me. Uh, today is the 22nd of June. Uh, they used to date their stuff. I'll look for a date on this. I'm pretty sure it's a 2017 edition. Uh, great big bottle. Enough to share, which is what I intend to do here, guys. Russian Imperial South. Uh, barrel aged with coffee. So, another reason why I want to go ahead and get it on. and Because it's got coffee in it, the coffee bays. And uh, let's see what it brings to the table here. Uh, commercial description. Russian Imperial it says same thing, Russian Imperial South, aged in bourbon barrels with coffee. Uh, I don't have the IBUs listed. Really not that critical for a, a beer of this magnitude and this style. So, uh, it's time. Let's do it. Let's get it on. While I'm doing this, I will tell you, I only have two openers left. I've got a red one and i got a green one. Uh, I've got plenty of t-shirts, so if you need an opener or a shirt or both, let me know. pitch black coming out of there guys. Let's stand it up so we can generate a head. Food Fairness is General Chocolate Dessert Digestive. Last brought a pint back in nine tumbler snifter. Got my favorite snifter today glass. This is a solid beer glass. And it says here can be set up for a long period of time. Just be aware it's brewed with coffee. The coffee will fade just like hops do on an IPA or double IPA. About a half a finger of head on that pour. Over to the light. There is none. It's pitch black guys. 14%. Ooh. This will knock you down if you're not used to drinking a beer of this magnitude. Let's get a nose to it. Ooh, yeah. Rich roasted malt. Slight hint of the bourbon. A little bit of coffee on the nose, but it's cold. It's right out of the fridge. i got a feeling that coffee's going to come out. Once it warms up to room temperature, it'd be a great beer to fire up a Maduro wrapped cigar and sip on this and puff on that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably end up doing that. Oh, it smells wonderful. Rich roasted malt to the burnt characteristics. Hence of a slight hint of some coffee, bittersweet chocolate. Maybe some dark molasses. Probably some uh, dark fruit in there too once it comes to the room temperature. Let's dive in and see what we've got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Brandon C. I appreciate it, my brother. Big bourbon notes on the taste. A little bit of heat back there, like it's got chilies in there, but it may be from the alcohol. 14%. Big boy's beer. Get your big boy britches on to drink this beer. A very nice sweetness to the back. They have done this beer very, very well. It's not too bitter, it's not too sweet. Very nicely done. Oh, 
also dessert beer. This could be your dessert. Or you could have this with a nice chocolate dish. That'll, that'll kick it up a notch or 12. A great final beer of the evening. A great beer to have after your dinner or with a big bold dish. Rib, steak, something bold. You wouldn't want to have this with a bowl of pasta or a salad. Uh, it would just overpower all of that. You're going to have to have something with a lot of taste to fire up with a magnitude beer of this. So, Well, let's sip on it for just a little bit. Go out and fire up my cigar, pour her a glass. Let's see where it ends up. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got a little up here. Uh, very tasty, guys. For a 14 and... 14 percent, 14 percent alcohol by volume. I looked at the bottle. I couldn't find any kind of vintage or dating on it. Pretty sure it's a 2017, but I don't, I don't know. Uh, I didn't go to the website to see when they produced this beer and sent it to Texas. Uh, they need to date their stuff because these guys are big enough to do that. Uh, they need to have some kind of dating on the bottle. Uh, they used to do that, I think. Uh, and this needs to have it too. It needs to have it, have it on there at least a month and a year. Uh, the day is irrelevant. We would like to know when they've done this. Like I said, I think it's a 2017 version. I'm not sure. They may have only done it in 2017. Excuse me. Uh, I'm not sure. And if you're picking this up at the store and taking, oh, I've got the hiccups. Uh, you want to know that. You want to know when it was put in a bottle. Maybe want to do a vintage. I don't know if they're going to do it with the one, one time only or not. Uh, I just want to see that on there, guys. Y'all know me by now. I want to see some kind of dating. Hiccups. Lord have mercy. But I want to see when it was put in the bottle. Uh, I, want, I want to see some kind of vintage on the bottle. Even 2017 would help. Uh, I'm just guessing it's a 2017 because Brandon C. just sent it to me. Uh, and I don't know if they've done it before. They've done several different variations of this beer. So I don't know uh, exactly when. I don't, I don't know why I've got hiccups. When it was put in a bottle or the vintage, even though it's a uh, barrel aged version, uh, of this beer with coffee, um, when they say they put coffee in it, I want to I want to have a date on it. If it didn't have coffee, coffee on it, just a year is enough. But uh, with coffee added to it and that fades over time, I want to know when it was put in the bottle. So I do think it's a very nice beer. It's a very delicious, delicious beer. Wonderful notes on the beer. Roasted malt, caramel, toffee, coffee. The coffee, the coffee is not to the espresso, off the chain coffee. A little on the subtle side for the coffee, but it is there. It is there. Final chug. Seems to me, in my opinion, the clown cheese guys are getting more and more into these darker beers, uh, Russian Imperial Stout, barrel aged beers, and they're doing a very well job. They're doing a very, very well job on these beers. Uh, I just want to see more information on the label, on the bottle. If it's a brewed once beer, put it on the label. If you're going to do it again, uh, Stamp it on, on the, the bottle somewhere, not in black, on a dark brown bottle, uh, white, yellow, blue, whatever. Give us a little bit more information on this. Uh, this stuff might be flying off the shelf in Texas whenever, because uh, I've got a feeling Brandon sent this to me, and it's a Texas only release beer. You can't buy it if you're in Massachusetts, and that's where these guys are out of, Massachusetts. But they have a little thing for Texas, and they send a lot of beers to Texas. 
that are Texas only releases uh, that you can't buy in Massachusetts or anywhere else. They send their beers. And some of the beers are available here. Uh, they're not available in the grocery stores, but some of the uh, the beers are available at the uh, uh, the craft beer stores, uh, barrel chests, and places like that. So I, I want to see a little more information from these guys, and they can do it if they're if they're brewing beers and putting them out from Massachusetts and sending Texas only beers to them. Uh, they need to have some more information on the on the bottle or on the label than what they're giving us. Uh, that's my fuss. I'm going to stop there. Uh, I want to see more information. I do think this is a very good beer. Uh, I'm a big fan of the bourbon barrel aged stuff. So uh, I think it's an A beer, guys, but I don't think it's to the 10 category. I'm going to give it to 8, which is A minus 90 for me. That's what I'm going to put it. Over to Beer Advocate, they say 86 in their very good range. I'm giving it a couple notches better than that. And over to Untap, they say 4.15, which is in their A category also. A minus to A category, as far as I'm concerned, for their numbers. It's an A beer, guys. It's a 14 percenter. The alcohol is super well hidden. It's a very well made beer. It's an awesome beer. It's a great beer, especially if it's the final beer of the evening, which it is for me. Getting ready to go have some dinner. And like I said earlier, if you need an opener, I've only got two left. Got got plenty of t-shirts. Let me know if you need anything. Uh, I'm doing this beer on the 22nd of June. You probably won't see it for a week past that because I'm about that far ahead. I'm dwindling down on the beers and the breads. Uh, all the beers that have been sent me to me by Rico and Brandon and everybody else. I've gone through and I've been posting two beer reviews a day. Uh, it's going to get to the point where it's going to come down to only one beer review a day. And uh, I'm trying to keep this thing going at least till August. And then I may take a little break. So uh, hopefully uh, uh, I'll get some more beer sent to me and from the breweries or subscribers. But once I get into the closet and start bringing some of those beers out that Rico and some of the other people have sent me the bigger beers the, like this. The uh, Imperial Stouts, Imperial, or the Barley Wines, the, the Monster Beers. Uh, I'm not going to be, you know, a lot of times I do two or three beer reviews a day uh, when I come home on the evening. I'm not going to do two or three 12 or 14 percenters. It, it's, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to, I'm just not going to do it. Uh, once we get to that category, if I don't have any more beers, I'll start getting into the closet and bringing some of those beers out and I'll be only posting one beer review day instead of two like I have been for the last six or eight months. And if, and if nothing else happens between now and August, uh, I might take a little break. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. Alright, if you've had this beer from uh, Clown Shoes, this is for a few unit dragons more. And I'm assuming this is a 2017 edition. Uh, if you've had this one, Guys, let me know what you think. Uh, I thought it was awesome. Nice bourbon barrel notes. Nice coffee. It's not off the chain coffee. It's not an espresso, but nice coffee notes. Nice bittersweet chocolate. Very well made. Very well made beer. Uh, a very nice beer uh, to share with whoever. Or if you want to drink the whole thing by yourself, uh, you could do that too. Uh, just don't be driving after you have a 14% beer. Might get you into trouble. Alright guys, if you had it, let me know what you think. Come back tomorrow. Let's see what's in the fridge. See you then.